Liberty Nation. Truth is making a comeback. Hello and welcome to Liberty Nation's Liberty Nation TV. I'm your host, Mark Angelides. Today on LNTV, I'm joined by the incomparable Sarah Cowgill to discuss something that is a big issue both in the US and the UK, namely left-leaning politicians calling for 16 and 17 year olds to have the vote. Um, is it just a coincidence that political parties that subscribe to a, a certain brand of politics are seeking the same enfranchisement of kids at the same time? Or is there something far more insidious taking place? Welcome, Sarah. Thank you for being here. Hey, thank you, Mark. Pleasure to be here as usual. Thank you. So, first, could you give us a little background on what's happening in Washington, D.C.? Uh, yes, the City Council has recently proposed, and it is um, backed by the mayor, to allow 16- and 17-year-olds to vote in federal elections. And it's about ready to get passed. It's also a lot of eyes are on it in case it does go through the City Council then we're going to see that be, you know, the norm popping up in probably the larger cities, not so much, you know, throughout the Midwest or the smaller states, but some highly populated areas like Chicago or New York, Los Angeles, those, you know, liberally. And, and, and what do those places have in common? <laughs> I wonder. Whole bunch of lefties hanging out. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you think this is actually going to go through? I think it's going to go through, I, I, and I think it's dangerous and reckless. I mean, it's not something that they that they can't undo immediately if they mess it up, because yeah. it's not anything constitutionally. But it's you know, it's their own little municipality and their own local government. But I think they're going to find that it's not going to help them. No, I mean uh, clearly because it's uh, it's it's for federal voting, which is presidential, isn't it? That's presidential level. Right. So it, it's something yes. that. Uh, a city will end up having, well, te technically a city will ha end up having a, a larger voter base than it ordinarily has, which will, should, perhaps uh, impact the Electoral College, is that right? It won't help. It won't, it, <laughs> it won't impact it one iota. I mean, first of all, I mean, it tells you that the city doesn't want to allow 16 and 17 year olds to vote in their elections and keep them, yeah. you know, in or out of office. And the second thing of that is, Get them off the couch, out of the basement, off their iPhone to get them to vote. You know, good luck with that. That's, that's yeah. you're just not that reliable as of a voting block. So yeah. I think they're going to find out that their their measures are going to fail miserably when it comes to 16 and 17 year olds. Okay, I mean, now I have my own opinion on this. Um, now some might suggest that I'm a, a you know a little bit crackpot, but uh, I. <laughs> A little bit. I see this as nothing more, literally nothing more than a way to vote grab and doctrinate. Please, Sarah, yeah, that's can you give absolutely. us a saner answer? Oh, that is the yeah, answer. Yeah. <laughs> you are, I've, you've put it more succinctly than I've been able to. Um, but the problem is, you know, you can't have it both ways. The leftists can't yeah. have it both ways. They can't increase the age to 21 to purchase a firearm and then say the 16 year old is is responsible enough to vote you know you can't you can't have it both ways and study after study has shown that the 16 year old of today is a five-year-old you know in, yeah. in past history teenagers 50 years ago would graduate high school or some didn't but graduate high school get married, have a family, or go to college, or go into the military. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they were responsible adults at 18, 17, and 18, and 19. It, it doesn't work that way anymore. They're saying now adolescence isn't over until age 24. This is dangerous. Very much so. Very much so. In fact, uh, to our viewers, if, if you want to actually check out uh, the studies and the links on this, you can actually go to Sarah's article on libertynation.com. It's got all the links. It's got all the data that you need. So you can check this out for yourself. I mean, yeah, as, it, you know. it, is a deep, it, it takes a deep dive. It's not something that you can, um, you know, write it down in a, in a, in a 700 word article and have it exactly explained to you. I summed it up, but the deep dive is a little bit spooky when you go into it. Yeah, I can believe it. I mean, that, that really, uh, is one of the major objections that 
that doesn't get brought up, even though it should. I mean, the idea that uh, you can vote, but you're not deemed mature enough to engage in every other aspect of daily life, exactly. uh, drinking, military service, marriage, wow. you know? But yeah, sure, you can decide on the nation's future. This really makes no sense yeah, to me. Yeah, how does that work? And, and, and you know, that age group is very much emotionally driven. They don't yes. think logically. I mean. You know, insurance won't give you a deal until you're 25. You know, yep. any kind of insurance company, car insurance company, they, you know, they know that kids are very reckless. They are prone to emotional outbursts. I mean, can you imagine if they don't get their vote? Look what the leftists did when they didn't win the presidency. They lost their minds. They were howling at the moon. They, they have done pretty much everything possible to act as childish as they are. And yeah. you want to add sixteen and seventeen year olds to that mix, and you yeah, the, the, they'll be screaming. Go down. <laughs> they'll be screaming <laughs> on the floor, their banging face. their fists. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, the uh, something very similar has been happening in the UK um, with uh, the the we had the the vote on uh, Scottish independence. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the polling showed that many 16 and 17 year old Scottish kids were, were interested in following uh, Scottish independence from the United Kingdom, um, they started try the Scottish Parliament started trying to get laws through that would allow 16 and 17 year olds to vote in the next one. Um, this was the, the Parliament par parliamentary party that wanted to cede from the United Kingdom, of course. Um, and then uh, now we have the the British Labour Party, which is is your equivalent of uh, the Democrats, I, I would suggest. Mm -hmm. And they're asking that 16, 17 year olds should should be included in all future votes uh, that pertain to Brexit, because according to their polls, the 16, 17 year olds were more likely to be pro Europe, or well, not pro Europe, but pro European Union. Mm -hmm. um, it, it never comes about from the other side, does it? It's uh, it, the side that wins says, you know what? Conservatives are much smarter than the, <laughs> than, than the local politicians. They don't want that noise. They don't want the white noise. They want to be able to, you know, double down and get the job done. And, yeah. you know, throwing a bunch of kids into the mix isn't going to help. And, and you're right. It is indoctrination. It's indoctrination in the schools, and they're trying to get a hold. And I think this all comes down to you know, kind of a global world order. And I'm not up for that whatsoever. No, me, me neither. Me neither. I mean, um, to finish this up, Sarah, um, I know that a lot of kids will want to do this uh, and they'll consider themselves politically engaged. And of course, when you're a kid, you, you want more control in your life, more, more agency. Uh, it's natural. But right. what would you say to these guys and gals, these young kids, uh, to tell them you can't have the vote? What words would you use? <laughs> That's a loaded <laughs> question. Um, well, first of all, so, no, know, go to your room. <laughs> I, there was, there, and I won't swear, I promise. There was um, a, a, a notice that came out from Next Gen. It's a 501c3, and they yes. have attempted to register a bunch of kids to vote. And part of their lure to get kids out was a petting zoo. If oh, you yes. need a petting zoo, to you know, keep your mind on the prize of getting a kid to vote. We've got problems, you know. Here, hold my slice. Let me pet this goat. What's that, up with that, that? That was Tom Steyer, wasn't it? Was that Tom yes. Steyer? Yes. <laughs> yeah, a petting zoo and pizza. Petting zoo, <laughs> but you know, hey, yeah, like that's that's giving me all sorts of confidence in the youth of my country. Oh you yeah. Know? They, they're nowhere near ready and they ought to concentrate on being kids. They they need to go to school or they need to go into Votech. They need to do something with their lives, find some purpose, get off the couch, get out of the basement and you know, stop this nonsense of being led down, you know, the path by by the left. You know, I I think those are wise and sage words and also they're they're words that, that we could apply to many adults. Yeah, exactly. uh, as as well. <laughs> so I'm, yes. I mean that's a, a wonderful, a wonderful answer. Thank you, Sarah. So, Sarah, you, you've been amazing. So, thanks to you, and, and oh, of course, uh, th a bit. The biggest thank you is reserved for you at home uh, for watching and taking part. Now, we at uh, Liberty Nation, we understand how busy you are, 
And that's why uh, you can now go to our articles uh, and you can get them to go. So for an audio version of our top stories on the site, you simply uh, go to the listen to the news section on libertynation.com, click the play sound cloud or play in browser tab at the top of each article and you can let our narrators do the reading for you. Well, and that's Liberty it. Liberty Nation to go. It's a drive through Absolutely. Uh, until next time, I'm Mark Angelides and you've been watching Liberty Nation TV. Liberty Nation. News and commentary. Minus the propaganda. LibertyNation.com